to another episode of the weekly dab of football. This week, we have a jacked Mesut Ozil. We have a dog who I think deserves the Ballon d'Or. We have one of the most athletic referees I think I may have ever seen. And we also have some of the worst defending I may have ever seen. That, that can't be legal, man. Back for another week of the best goals and memes around the football world. Roll the intro. <laughs> Dab is back for all you OGs. I'm back in the OG setup in Ohio. Only true OGs will remember when uh, we filmed the videos here, man. Those are the glory days. All right, let's start this video going inside the Premier League. And wow, it was a wild week in the Premier League. How do we even begin? Let's just show you the league table. Liverpool is a top. If you missed the Prem games this week, I honestly feel bad for you. Uh, let's start with what should have been the best game, City and Arsenal. Instead, they both decided to do absolutely nothing. This game could have been so good. It ended nil-nil. On over to the United game, they played Brentford. And in the 96th minute, did this to win the match. Check this out from Mason Mount. Miles scored a 96 minute game winner, except there was like three minutes left on the clock. Brentford marched down and in the 99th minute, crossed the ball in and scored the equalizer. United, you just had to defend for like three minutes and you would have been good. But let's be honest, United didn't deserve the win at all. Brentford had 31 shots. The Premier League just kept Let's getting better this get week, though. Youngman's son for Tottenham scored a game winner in the 86th minute. Yeah, it was against Luton, but a game winner's a game winner. And in the craziest game of the weekend, Newcastle at one point in this game was down 3-1. And in the 77th minute, they scored. They scored in the 80th minute. And then they scored this in the 90th minute to win. I swear every game in the Prem this week had some magic happen. This is all we got from uh, the Everton game, though. Uh, this own goal. Yeah. This own goal right here won the match for Bournemouth in the 90th minute. Seamus Coleman, too, an experienced Premier League player. Wow. I mean, there was so much else to happen in the Premier League this week. Just, just a wild week of football. And we're counting down the matches till the season ends. Here are the odds now to win the Premier League after this week. Liverpool won. They're not top of the table. They are plus 120. City, second favorites to win the Prem. And Arsenal sit as the third favorites to win the Prem. Who do you think is going to win the Premier League? Hi, up next, we're going around the world. And you guys have seen Real Madrid Stadium, the Bernabeu, the renovations. Well, the new scoreboard is finally working. Check this out. The 360 scoreboard. It goes all the way around the stadium there are a few american football american football teams who have scoreboards like this but i believe this is the first one we are seeing like this in europe man the bernabeu this looks like an american sports stadium to be honest adding the new bernabeu to my football bucket list all right i know i mentioned this in a video this week where i reviewed the best football atmospheres but for those of you who didn't watch that video uh we talked about georgia congratulations they have qualified for the Euros. And now, boys, the Euro groups are set. Stay tuned, uh, probably in a month or two. Uh, we still got a while to go for this competition. I'm going to do a prediction video. But yeah, man, I'm so excited. Copa America Euros this summer. We've been talking about it for the past few months. And we are so close to what is going to be an awesome summer of football. All right, Leverkusen, man. They were trailing 1-0 against Hoffenheim in the 87th minute. And then came back to win the match just when you thought the streak was going to be over. They're unbeaten in their last 38 matches now. And Xavi Alonso has said he is not leaving Leverkusen after this season. Sorry, Leverkusen. Liverpool fans, Bayern Munich fans, Xabi is staying at Leverkusen. On over to the Saudi League, Cristiano Ronaldo with his 64th career hat trick. Insane, man. Here are the hat trick leaders in the 21st century. Messi, Ronaldo, Lewandowski, Suarez, Ash Ashfak. Is that his name? Who is that? I have no idea who that is. All right, we usually don't talk about uh, football in Denmark, but the Copenhagen Derby was this weekend, and we had a late minute winner. We're trying more to talk about uh, other leagues than just the Premier League and the league uh, and MLS. And uh, how about this, man? The Copenhagen Derby. Shout out to all my viewers from Denmark, and shout out to all my viewers who are fans of Napoli. They scored a game winner against Juventus in the 93rd minute. Look at this cross from Genduzzi, man. That is just beautiful. And we end around the world with this. Manuel Neuer's birthday this past weekend. He's 38 years old, and this stat is crazy. He has played in every minute of Germany's last seven major football tournaments, with the exception of uh, one of the third place games in the 2010 World Cup. And he's going to be starting again for Germany in the Euros this summer. Neuer is just... 
a true legend. On to the next segment, Kit Clash. Yeah, this is a new segment we've been doing, talking about uh, cool kits, kit concepts. Here we have international kits, but the colors are in dark mode, starting with Brazil. Yeah, you guys know all the new international kits just came out. Bleacher Report always does these cool concepts the brazil one i think i may like the original better but this one's still dope here's the france shirts if they were black these ones are good the white ones are so clean though with the pinstripes the thing is like all of these are good i think every team should have like an alternate black kit that goes alongside this is croatia argentina's feels kind of wrong it looks it looks just like inter milan to be honest but it still looks good oh man this one's so sick man nigeria usa's i, I do prefer the white one but the black one is very nice portugal this one looks like it could actually be their shirt we have germany we have florian Wurtz rocking it this one also looks like it it doesn't look like anything's changed this looks like it should be their shirt as well and netherlands yeah this is this is probably the worst one and we have canada yeah that one's okay hope you guys are enjoying some of the new segments on the show trying to keep things fresh change it up more new segments to come on the weekly dab of football up next we're going 60 seconds in america and i plan on being right at 60 seconds this week we're gonna start with neymar who is in miami throwing out the first pitch at a miami marlins baseball game but i could imagine he probably met with inter miami while he was there he would have had to right neymar to inter miami maybe also i used to be a baseball player let me review his form you know what? To be fair, it's not bad. For someone who uses his feet, that's that's decent form, Neymar. Right, this was in the Nations League final last week. Watch this Mexican fan chuck a beer at Pulisic. Wait for it. Pulisic is about to take the corner, and this Mexican fan launches a beer at him. Uh, but but wait for it. Yep, security guard immediately comes down, and this dude gets booted in the first 10 minutes of the match. Not to mention, he had front row seats as well. Way to just waste money right there, dude. What an idiot. More crazy Premier League action. Look at this cross from Gio Reyna. And then the header from Chris Wood. Gio Reyna literally got subbed on a minute before this. This is why Gio Reyna should be starting every week for Nottingham. Do we have any Nottingham fans watching? Please, if you are, tell me, do you agree that Gio Reyna should be starting? If you don't, find fair. Just leave a comment. I want to know what you guys actually think. I believe we mentioned this briefly last week. Olivia Giroud, it looks like it's about to be official soon, says Fabrizio Romano. Giroud is coming to MLS, to LAFC, sadly. This would have been awesome to see him in Cincinnati, but I guess he wants to go play in the big city, play in LA. I am excited to see Giroud in MLS. And we end with the MLS standings in the East. Cincinnati still on top over Miami. And here are the standings over in the West. I didn't show you any MLS highlights this week. It's because all the highlights are coming in the goals of the week. All right, 60 seconds in America. I, th I want to say we were just over this week how did we do right now let's jump into those goals it's time for the goals of the week back to more Premier league action check this out from fulham a bicycle kick this was late on in the match as well and helped fulham earn a point in this game man that is beautiful and how about another bicycle kick this time in mls from nashville sc almost a very identical goal the crosses came from different directions look at this though so similar the Fulham goal, this goal, the spot where it was scored. Man, some MLS goals recently. They've just been so good. And we have even more. I, this was sporting Kansas City against Toronto. This one scored from a mile out as well. Wow. I don't want to see the angles here. Should the goalkeeper have saved this one? I uh, can't really tell from that angle. Oh, you're not going to be able to tell from this angle as well, are you? No. Let's see what the goalkeeper... Oh, no, he's got to save that. Got to save that. Another goal of the week in MLS. Check this uh, one out here. Real Salt Lake. The turn and the fire shot from outside the box. Fire shot? I don't know why I just said fire shot, but he, he rocketed it at the goal. Maybe that's the word I was looking for. What do you guys think? Does this deserve to be in the goals of the week, man? Just the, the touch and the turn, and then, yeah, he rockets it past the keeper. Oh, this angle is going to be really good right here. I thought this was a sick goal for my real Salt Lake fans at. Oh, threads the needle. It's been a while since we've had a dog in our goals of the week. But look at this finish. One more look. Look at the cross on the back feet as well. What do you even call that? A scorpion kick? And then we end our goals of the week with a skill of the week. Look at this. Guy's got the messy shirt, the Holland shirt, the juggles. Then down the water slide. And then look at this. Kicks the ball in midair. Yeah, I always add like a skill of the week into the goals of the week. All right, minus the skills. I need to know where this is. I want to go here so bad, man. Wow. 
I'm just looking at like, oh my, where is this? I need to go here ASAP, as soon as possible. Right, up next, boys, it's meme mode. Beginning meme mode with this. I want to know if this move is legal. He catches the ball. Did I show this on? Have I shown this on the weekly dab? I feel like we've seen this clip before. Bro catches the ball in his shirt and <laughs> tries to beat a defender. I feel like this should be legal. Never used his hands to touch the ball. A lot of memes this week. Is this rugby or football? Did you see that hit? Oh! Nah, one more time. Okay, no, we gotta stop that. We gotta stop that. Just went in for a WWE move on the defender right there. This is just sad right here, man. Look at this. So I had a match this weekend. Jude Bellingham. This kid in a wheelchair, one of the mascots, had a jacket, and Jude Bellingham got cold. And Jude Bellingham took the jacket off the, the kid and put it on himself, man. I thought Jude Bellingham was one of the good guys. Apparently not. And this is just, this is awful. Jude, what are you doing, man? Okay. If, if you, By now, you can't tell that this video is in reverse. Um... <laughs> So I had, we had to have fooled someone out there, right? Now, this video is in reverse. Um, the real video shows Jude Bellingham taking his jacket and putting it on the kid. But yeah. We've seen some bad misses on this show. This might be the worst miss ever. Look at this. How do you... How is that not going in? Look, I mean, Keeper punches it. Tries the shot off the crossbar. Wide open. Trips over the ball. That is a very old clip. I feel like we may have seen that one on this show before as well. But I, that... I, that so bad i right, don't usually expect this from argentina but look at this chips the keeper but doesn't keep up with the ball in the costa rican defender clears it again do you ever expect this from argentina just stay with it tap it in it just he just didn't see the defender behind him all right some of the worst defending ever man this has to be a red card right here look at this kicks the dude in the butt i really wish i knew spanish or whatever language this is i want to know what they're saying yeah red card he, why is he complaining dude you you just kicked the man. What do you mean? He's trying to argue again. Nah, I'm done, bro. What team is? Who is this man? This guy is an idiot. I mean, yo, you never see this man. Ra very rarely. I feel like Tim Howard scored a goal like this in the Premier League a while back. Look at that finish. All right, up next we have the flop of the week. Look at the goalkeeper just walk into this guy's elbow and then fall down and act as if he's died. All right, take a look right here and tell me if this is the worst corner you've ever seen, right? Let's watch this here. Okay, here we go. Play. Um, what have we just witnessed? I have to click play and if you blink, you may miss it. Like, <laughs> how do you, as a professional player, how do you take a corner that poorly? Keep the memes coming. There's just so many this week. Look at this cat on the field here. At this, I think, Brazilian match. This cat's got some speed as well. Look at this cat fly, man. Whoa. Someone signed this cat to a contract. Man has Kylian Mbappe speed. My God. Right up next, we have this kid who tried to take a photo with Messi holding a Ronaldo jersey. Like, the immaturity, man. Can we stop with this? I feel like the Messi and Ronaldo rivalry this point it's just turned into harassment at this point like Messi will probably leave his house and fans will just yell Ronaldo at him 24 7 and then Ronaldo would leave his house and they everyone just chants Messi at him that's why they're probably not friends with each other not because they don't like each other they're just tired of hearing each other's names all the time you should be ashamed of yourself kid right, this clip was all over the internet I'm just gonna play this one just, just watch this is so funny <laughs> oh no calls himself fat and then just wipes out genuinely looks like he's hurt as well man this poor dude yo this stat is a wild goals to titles mascherano eight goals 25 titles harry kane 422 goals zero titles so just to show goals does not necessarily equate to winning it's also a, like a cdm versus striker so this graphic is kind of nonsense but i right, check out this skill move right here man wait for it wait for it wait for it <laughs> Goes for the roulette and falls over. Bro tried a simple three-star skill move and couldn't even pull that off. Oh, God, that's so bad. This clip is crazy, right? Kicks the ball at his teammate's face, and then it goes into a, a, his other teammate's face. How do you even do this? Also, what was he trying to do as well? But he hits both teammates, injures two of his teammates for the price of one. All right, watch how this referee blows for full time right here. <laughs> Oh, 
That's awesome. We need this guy in the Premier League, man. This guy's... Imagine this in the Premier League. Get him in MLS. Get him in Kings League. Get him in something. That form is just incredible. All right, more from referees. Watch this referee just fully wipe out. Fair play, though. He still always has his eye on the ball the whole time. Never takes his eye away from the action. I respect it. All right, this should be fun. I'm going to leave this one up to the comments. First player you think of when you see this. Go. Just first person that pops into your mind, comment it. I just watch this sequence right here. I honestly, you can't even tell who's on which team. They're both, it's like a kick clash here, but just watch who ends up saving this ball, right? Injured teammate. <laughs> oh, football, man. Oh, so good. And we had Mimo with this, a, uh, a jacked Meze Ozil, man. I guess ever since he stopped playing, he just hasn't left the gym. Also, I don't know who that guy is next to him. If it's a, if it's a former footballer, I apologize. I don't know who he is at all. Wow, that was a record long meme mode. Um, let's get this video ended. B Ford's Ballon d'Or. And B Ford's Ballon d'Or goes to this man, the street performer at a traffic light. Um, how's he doing this? Uh, genuinely, this is amazing. I'm confused. Obviously, it has something to do with a, a black curtain behind him. I guess there might be someone in there, like controlling the ball, but. But if I'm at a traffic light, this dude is definitely getting tipped. Congratulations, good sir. For your skill, you get B Ford's Ballon d'Or. And that is going to do it for this week's episode of the Weekly Dab of Football. Click to watch the series playlist. Click to subscribe. I'm uh, I'm back on my old set this week, so I might film some uh, some OG FIFA videos too while I'm here, like the good old days. Let me know what you guys want to see. We'll see you boys later. Peace.